Hi there, this is a quick introduction to some analog dials on a Sunny Boy 2000 HF. So, what we have here is we have a voltage meter, which is, uh, pardon the glare, currently on about 290 volts DC. Then we have two magnificent DC switches and two amp meters. Well, two amp meters, um, as you can see, it's a 5 amp meter or a ranged 5 amp meter and it's going above. The nominal current for a 200 watt 5 inch cell panel is 5 amps. But the sun doesn't care because that's on uh, a 1000 watts the square meter radiation. Which the sun really doesn't mind going over. So don't be surprised if you actually see 6 or more uh, from a 5 inch cell. Something to keep in mind, which the normal data sheets of panels will never ever tell you. Now, the meter on the right, which is my west string, is currently at zero. The reason for this is because I'm using two um, different sized strings. The left, which is east, is, uh, eight, uh, is eight panels long, and the right, which is west, is six panels long. Now the problem with this is um, the voltage for the uh, east is about 290 volts. The voltage, MPP voltage for the right is about 220 or so. So as the MPP voltage is currently at 290 volts you will never get any power from the west string. So don't do that. The good news is, in about a week or so, I should have the last two panels installed and both strings will be eight long and the problem will be gone, which is nice. Because I've been having the panels in my shed for far too long now, I believe since October last year, which is over five months ago, unfortunately. It's currently producing about 1300 watts. So that's uh, from 1600 watts of installed panels is pretty good, considering it is east. Um, this will drop off very fast. As soon as you get uh, uh, past basically 1, 2 in the afternoon, this will drop off the planet and produce next, not, next to nothing. Um, 100, 200, maybe 400 if you have white fluffy clouds which we do have currently and that means it goes all over the place and which is very nicely visible on the voltage meter what I was hoping to capture is the MPP sweep of the OptiTrack from the SMA HF series which I wanted to illustrate with the analog meter which is far better visible than a digital display ever could. So what you will see when it does perform the MPP sweep is that the voltage uh, dial it moves rapidly between 175 and the open voltage of the string which is about 320 trying to find the best spot. The reason I have OptiTrack on is because without it it will never be possible for the current inverter to find the optimum spot for the front because the voltage is far lower and it would otherwise never ever find it. There we go, that was the MPP scan, which uh, SMA calls OptiTrack, but basically uh, a lot of inverters do it uh, these days. The, the Power One inverters do it, um, the Effecta is probably pretty good with it as well. Um, some others have the, the setting called a uh, PV sweep, others call it an MPP scan, and SMA calls it uh, OptiTrack, um, to each their own, I guess. 
it's a very short about one second burst um, it, I don't think it really affects the total production a whole lot not in the sense of a day it could use it could, it could make out a few kilowatt hours over the course of a year but it will mean that if you have a shaded panel in an eight panel panel string or two differently sized strings on an inverter with just one MPP input it will find the optimum where it gets the most power which is basically what you always want most power of course and we have the current meters here and you can see that the voltage mostly remains the same still about 280 290 but a current will sag and drop because that's closely tied to the radiation the actual voltage of the panels doesn't change as much uh, from the well the, 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 the starting values until you get actual sunshine on it which uh, means it actually produces far more current so the voltage remains mostly steady and the current was, is the, the, the differing factor here which decides how much power you are producing. So this is a nice introduction to using analog dials on your PV strings. Um, one note, this Sunny Boy HF series, it has a HF transformer. So it's galvanically isolated from your existing mains connection, which goes in there and I've installed these late at night when the PV voltage is zero and you can safely work on it nothing fancy about it just a current meter bought from eBay for about seven euros a piece um, the voltage meter was about the same but with shipping was 11 and a plastic box which I believe was three and a half euros it's all in all not too expensive the breaker switches which I installed are by far the price because they are 30 each because but you can probably find them far cheaper anywhere else you don't need those specifically because the, it has a integrated DC switch I mean the moment you pull this thing out it will disconnect all DC but since I like tinkering and working on the electrical insulation and assorted bits um, I find these uh, a huge plus makes it far easier to work but that uh, most people just connect it then never mind it for the next five years and so that your mileage may vary okay so that was the quick introduction to analog meters for your PV strings goodbye